I'm gonna take you through our Northwest Haze Creative Color Grading Pack. We made these 3D LUT profiles based on inspiration from the Pacific Northwest. Now, what does that mean? Pacific Northwest, it's constantly raining, constantly overcast. The sky acts like a huge softbox over everything, creating a diffused lighting situation. We've got huge forests. They're completely green, covered in moss, highly saturated. And there's a ton of mist and mood and depth. So we've used that inspiration to create a wide range of looks in our profiles. And I'm gonna be showing the Lightroom workflow. So let's take a look at the first image and I'm gonna get right into exploring these looks. Right off the bat, I think this image is a little bit underexposed. So what I wanna do is always start from a nice balanced place. I'm gonna up the exposure just a bit, retrieve some of the highlight information out of the sky maybe open up the shadows a touch, but that's all I'm gonna do. I just wanna create a basic balance, spend one minute doing it, and go directly into exploring my looks. This comes in with Adobe Color selected. I've got that favorited here. Your entire palette here might look a little bit different, but I've got the RGG Northwest Haze Pack loaded here, and I'm gonna go through it. The first one, Hemlock, is based on Lifted Blacks, somewhat desaturated greens, and you'll see variations on this theme throughout all the looks in this pack. Ponderosa pushes some blue into the shadows, a little bit more blue in the greens too. Willow, much more green field overall, green in the shadows a bit. Sequoia pushing more red into the shadows and lifting the greens up a little bit. Honey Locust, pushing those hues even further into yellow and approaching orange. Tamarack's cool. That's taking that same orange twist in the greens and adding some red in the shadows. Juniper's stepping even further off the beaten path, pushing those green hues into purple. Dogwood, adding more character into the shadows. And Hawthorne, pushing the hues even further all the way around the color wheel into the reds. And finally, Doug Fur introducing some more purple into the shadows. Now, you can see all these incredible hue transformations that's happened here because we're able to very carefully target very uh, concentrated hue ranges and change those in really dramatic ways without messing up the image. So I wanna zoom in really quick to the model. Notice that we've changed a ton of color in the image to really unexpected things and totally left her alone. That's a really important thing here is to know that we can preserve those skin tones and the local colors of her wardrobe and still get really dramatic results on the background. So I like Doug Fur, I'm gonna call that good, and I can take this into Photoshop now for further editing if I want to. So I wanna check out how the Northwest Haze color grading pack works on a very different image. So as you can see, this image is exposed very differently, but it's coming from a good enough starting point. So I'm just gonna immediately go into my profile browser and see how these look. Hemlock, Ponderosa, that's pretty cool. Like some of the purples in there. Willow, it's a little bit more mellow. Sequoia, you can see that warmth going into the shadows again. Honey Locusts. A little bit more mustardy in the greens. Tamarack, cool. Juniper, now you can see how this is really doing some cool stuff in the trees. Dogwood, pushing that even further with purples into the shadows. Hawthorne and Doug Fur doing some okay stuff. It's not, see this is the difference. Hawthorne and Doug Fur were performing a lot uh, better on the other image, but in this image, I kind of like Juniper. So I'm gonna to commit to that and make some additional adjustments that I think can push Juniper a bit further. I wanna bring some information back here in those lost highlights. Now, if I can see those trees up there, it gives me a better sense of depth. Bring some of the whites back. It's getting really kind of hazy now, which I think is cool, but I like a little bit more punch. I'm gonna bump up clarity. And you know, it's important to recognize the Northwest Haze Pack 
works a lot on greens. And whereas you might think all these trees are green back here, they're actually neutral. So it's really hitting the brighter saturated green tones up here. So I want to extend that. And since the creative profiles here work on the underlying information, I just want to shift everything a bit more green. Now look how that brings out more purple because I've introduced more green and my grading profile is looking for green to do the work. I'm going to bring a little bit more blue into the white balance too. And now it's bringing actual green hues up in here. So really cool effect, really quick. And you can see how powerful the controls in Lightroom are when I'm working on the image that I've already applied a profile to. That's the beautiful thing. We've got a ton of information in the raw file and you have your raw controls in order to make additional decisions. So that was a really cool look into Northwest Haze and I can't wait to see what you create with it.